Hey YouTube! So I made several different paintings this senior semester and I wanted to unravel my thoughts about making them and what they are about. So hopefully you enjoy and you stay tuned. The first painting behind me, I will explain happened to be incorporated with something that I unlikely do. Usually I have vibrant pictures with narratives and happy tunes, but to set the mood, I have to show this image from the Stephen King's Children of the Corn. It gave me an inspiration and my headspace went to convey a mythical theme and it, I envision nightmares, children's themes, the sixth sense, and a dark realm of imagination. From art history records, I learned that cherubs were children's protectors from evil. Therefore, I proposed the idea that cherubs came to decapitate evil stuffed teddy bears. Then, to describe them, they took the teddy bear's head and they put them on top of the uh, on top of their own heads. And the stuffing is just going everywhere, as you can see. But I really enjoyed to be very creative with this painting. And I incorporated past drawings that I had already made in classes previously. And that just gave me a sense of this luring presence of dark entity, of like a submissive, alluring spirit. And I put it on this painting and I wanted to make sure to perceive that vibe that the Simon instructed. Next, I made a series of self-portraits designed to illustrate different characteristics of my personality. I'll break them down. This one is about me being quirky, childish, and loving stuff fluffiness, but I'm also funny and inappropriate. And the motifs are pretty obvious in this one. And I also like to use mixed media in several of these paintings that I made. So this is just one of the examples that I use photo print and incorporated with different mediums like oil, acrylic, and gluing on magazine clippings and using vibrant color. This one demonstrates my free-spirited side, but I'm also grounded and down-to-earth, and I can talk about deep subjects very easily. It's shown by the motifs of like butterflies, the sky, but yet the skulls and the rose is shown to be a motif of both like beauty but intensity, like there's thorns to a rose, and I'm definitely represented by one of those. I really liked how I have the face upside down, like looking up, but also as if like I'm falling down towards earth. Hopefully you guys can see that and can relate to that topic of being kind of both sides free-spirited, but also can get into pretty freaky subjects. This one shows Two equations, one at the top is about time dilation and relativity, and at the bottom it's the golden ratio. And this painting shows how I'm keen to nature and curious about mathematics. So the golden ratio explains how nature can help explain theories and phenomena phenomena about certain functions. And I learned that through my art lectures. But also having a background in mathematics and engineering, I am really fascinated by like physics and equations about time and space and relativity. So I combine those two and at the top you have like all these geometrical shapes and they slowly get more organic as you go down at the bottom. And I just wanted to put like a little simple self-portrait in the middle to tie it together. I love this vibrant yellow one. It's a collage of different moments that I captured on my phone of various expressions that I've had and you can really see how my face has changed or how I just look a little bit different in each individual drawing. 
and I turned it into vibrant painting afterwards. I wasn't really sure because I really liked the black and yellow, but I ended up being impulsive and saying, you know what, it needs to be even more colorful. What do you think? Did you like the black and yellow or do you like how it's very colorful and there's a lot of contrasting colors? Thanks to this picture that I took, I was able to recreate the old painting I had that I wasn't very satisfied with, but I ended up developing more of a vibrant spirit to it, and it finally has more of a story. What do you think? I really like it. Here are all the self-portraits together. I wanted to go through this one more briefly so it's not a long video. For the goldfish painting, what I did is I took the Van Gogh Starry Night poster and I tore it up to pieces. Then I added gesso, a lot of glossy finish, and I also painted these goldfish with oil paint. I got the inspiration to use goldfish because when I go to PetSmart to get Mochi's food, I see a bunch of goldfish in the tanks. They're really colorful and vibrant, have a lot of holographic scales to them. I just find them very beautiful. And I painted them. You can see here that it has different layers because of the tore up paper. For this, I ended up using the collage. That I've had before and then splattering paint over it. It's not something that I would commonly do because it doesn't take a lot of effort. It's just gluing pieces together and arranging them in a certain way then kind of tearing things apart and splatter painting it. Even though it's a contemporary um, style of art and a lot of people favor this right now, it's just not my kind of style and as you can see I just like put them on a uh, board and it wasn't entertained by the thought of doing that for this one. It's one of my favorite ones It has to do with like self-image in relation to Times in the past versus right now. So you have two sides of the story how Like this lady from the 1920s or the 30s She's like putting on her makeup and they really iconicized makeup and beauty at that time, but also we do now as well, just in a different cultural way. Even though social media has this aspect to influence us, I definitely believe that the concept of body and beauty acceptance has been become a lot better than in the past. Now for the next one, I ended up putting together little mirrors around this table that I had that had a reflection and I wanted to play with how different angles could be perceived in the mirrors and you can even see my little self in the reflection of the glasses. Love the vibrant colors, love the pinks, the fluorescent turquoises in it and I'm just a fan of doing like reflections and transparencies and making seem look making things seem um, realistic. For the mochi painting, I did also with the mirrors. He likes to look at himself and he fights as if it's another chameleon in front of him so he kind of like smashes his face into the mirror. It's not dangerous. I make sure that he's okay. But that just captures how he's attentive to his own image in mirrors. And I love how, like how his curl spirals and I made sure to preserve like his own character in this painting. I also made another painting about Mochi and just had different pictures of him on my phone that I used to create this one. So and I put them all together in a collage. For my brain painting. I call it Brain Exhibition in Library Window, and it has these cardboard cutouts of brains in the library cast their image onto their kids' reflections. They just passed by and then thought it was funny to take pictures in front of them. It 
took me quite a long time to make this one. This was a little bit larger and I didn't do as much detail as I wanted on this. I do want to touch it back and perfect some areas, but we'll see. Maybe I, I am satisfied with this. What do you think? All right, so that is what I have so far to show. I'm working on some new pieces and I'll be coming up with different content. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Like, comment, and let me know what you think. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I will respond as best as I can. Enjoy and have a great day. Let me know if you are interested in watching my new videos and if you have any suggestions. Bye YouTube!